Okay, so let's talk about how to create menus in Google Studio Python. So I'm going to create a class and I'm going to call it main menu, main menu. And this class will inherit from the cocos.menu dot menu with a capital M. Now, I'm going to create here some space. So now I'm going to create a constructor or an init method and also call the super classes init. So super init and let's give a title for this menu and I'm going to name it just my game. So the next thing I'm going to create an empty list, Python list. And to this list I'm going to append, so items that append, uh, cocos that menu that menu item menu item and this menu item its title will be new game um, and when it is clicked it will behave like a button and when it is clicked it will call a function or a method and I'm going to call this method on underscore new underscore game. I'm going to now define this on new game method. So on new underscore game And for now, it's just going to print out to the console game star started. Game started. And uh, yeah, I'm also going to call the create menu create menu method from which is defined inside the cocos.menu.menu so create menu and I'm going to give it the items list so its first argument is a list and when I hover over with my mouse on, on this uh, new game menu what effect should it apply to the menu so I'm going to use the cocos that menu that shake shake and also cocos that menu that shake back shake back so okay so let's create an object from this main menu class. Mm, yes, let's say here. So I'm going to call it just menu and main menu. And to this test scene, I'm going to add this menu object. So test scene that add uh, menu. Now let me see it. So here is its title. We are giving the title to the uh, super classes initializer or constructor. So this is this string my game. And here is our first uh, menu and of course, I don't know why. Let 
miss it. Create many items, shake back. It, sh it should shake when I hover over with my mouse. When I print, okay, at least uh, it works because it printed out the game started, so it called this called this uh, on new method. Maybe I need one more menu item to actually apply this cocos that menu shake and cocos that menu shake back. So I'm going to create one more items that band cocos dot menu dot menu item and let's say this will be the quit button quit and when this is pressed I'm going to call the self dot on underscore quit and now let's define this on quit method. So def on underscore quit. And uh, it should call the director, uh, not dear, but the director that close, that window that close, that window that close. So let me try it. Yes, now the shaking works. So you need to have at least two menu items if you want this uh, shake and shake back to work. Now we have a nice effect when we are hover hovering over these two menus. So now let's try the new game. It prints game started and when I click the quit, it should quit the application. Yes. And one more menu I'm going to append to this items list. So append cocos.menu that toggle menu item. Toggle menu item, yeah. And it, it it behaves uh, like a toggling button, so it, it, it has two states, on and off. So its name or its title will be show, show FPS or frames per second. And when it is clicked, I'm going to call the self that on show FBS method. And as a third argument, if you go to this toggle menu item, its third argument by def default, this value is false. So I'm going to give it the window, uh, I mean director, director dot show, show FPS, which is also a boolean. So, and by default it is false. So now let's define this on the show FPS method. So, on show uh, FPS and I'm going to give it uh, after the self a second argument and just going to name it show underscore FPS and uh, when this toggle menu item is clicked it will call the it will set the directors show FPS to show FPS, so to this attribute here. And now let's take a look. So, okay, now 
and we need to click on the show of FPS which starts off and now it is on and it shows in the lower left corner the uh, FPS counter and when I click it again it will disable enable disable maybe I'm just going to give it after this uh, sim, uh, colon so okay now it looks a little bit better we have a space after the colon the shaking also works of course uh, I showed you how to work with scene transitions so if you are creating a game and when you when you click on the new game so this should be a scene the intro scene or the menu scene and when you click on the new game it should transition to the uh, level one scene in your game not just print out game started <laughs> okay so quit so you can go to the Coco Studies Python documentation and also learn uh, what other menu items uh, or menus are inside Cocos or you can also go to the source code and you can find all sorts of menus here so vertical menu layout as you see a menu inherits from a layer and a layer in here is from Cocos node. So in Cocos Studio Python, everything is a Cocos node. So here, when you read through, you will find uh, all the. We used this one, the menu item, and here is also an image menu item multiple menu item mm -hmm. we used also the toggle menu item here and entry menu item a menu item for entering a value and the color menu item so there are much more than just uh, these two what uh, I used and here are the shake back mm, effect predefined it's a predefined action that rotates to zero degrees in uh, 0 0.1 seconds so this is this uh, this one and here is a zoom in zoom out these are also, also predefined actions that scale to 1.5 factor in 0 0.2 seconds. Yes, and here is the shake. I used it here. And I'm creating the menus. And the uh, shake is also a predefined action that performs a slight rotation and then goes back to the original rotation position. and one more thing of course i just don't like uh, so that these menus they are too close together so if you want to alter the y position of these menus and as i say these are these are also inheriting from the Cocos uh, node, so the Cocos node has X and Y positions. So to get, let's say, f the new game's position, you can go to the items list, so items, and uh, at index 0, so at index 0 is this uh, new game. 
and let's set its y to I don't know 100. I'm going to try it. Yes, now it's a little bit much more separated than it was before, so I'm going to give it just let's say mm, 40. Okay, and now let's set also to the quit, so it is items at position or at index 1, that y, and this will be also 40. So, the new game I'm going to set to 80. So this show FPS should be at the center and 40 pixels uh, below, not below, but above, will be the quit and 80 pixels above will be the uh, new game menu. Now it is much more uh, separated and it also works as before. So, uh, in the next video I don't know what I'm going to cover, but maybe, maybe, yes, the particle systems, particle system. So, until then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.